The rabbit is hopping on over to the Swamp Rabbit Trail. I'm Lauren Thomas, and installing this larger-than-life sculpture is what's happening in the city of Greenville this week. The cordon steel rabbit by artist Dale Rogers will make his home in Unity Park near the Commons. The main entrance to the park off Hudson Street, Welburn, into the Commons is open to vehicular traffic. The speed limit on Hudson has been reduced to 25 miles per hour to slow traffic near the park and the Swamp Rabbit Trail. Turf time! The playgrounds at Unity Park are getting greener. During construction, dirt mounds were covered in spraycrete, then wrapped with cushioning. Now the turf-covered surfaces are perfect for little climbers. Crews laid hundreds of rolls of sod at Meadowbrook Green on the south side of the Reedy. Meadowbrook is one of the two massive open areas in the park. TD Saturday Market presented by Prisma Health is back for its 20th season. Fresh produce, breads, flowers, and works from local artisans are available on Saturdays from 8 to noon through October. An already vibrant downtown was alive with art, music, and culture this weekend. Artists, both local and national, set up shop on Main Street for Artisphere, Arts, Music, Culture, presented by TD Bank. Fireworks on the 4th. Fireworks return to Greenville in a new location. Join us at Unity Park on Monday, July 4th from 6 to 10 p.m. and arrive early. Bring a blanket and a picnic dinner. Find a space on the lawn and celebrate our nation's independence. The Greenville metro area is the best in the nation for freelancers trying to forge their own path in the post-pandemic gig economy, according to financial publication NerdWallet. Friends turned founders shared what's brewing with their business as Methodical Coffee took center stage at Flywheel Cafe, an event designed to connect and inspire entrepreneurs in Greenville. The Greenville Zoo is excited to announce Asa the Red Panda is now on exhibit in our Asia Corridor. Asa has come to us from Zoo Knoxville. She has a spunky personality and a proclivity for bananas and bamboo. There are fewer than 2,500 adult red pandas in the wild. Asa plays an important role conserving her species. Greenville City firefighters responded to 78 cardiac arrest calls in 2021. Crews were able to save 12 lives, a success rate nearly double the national average. Carrie Hudson is one of the survival stories. Her family started CPR while city firefighters and county first responders rushed to her home. We were there when she met her life-saving heroes. Park Mobile is now live in all city garages, making it easier to get in and out on your next visit. The city of Greenville is partnering with the Blood Connection to save lives through blood donations. We're at Cleveland Park, and all donors receive a $20 Shop Downtown gift card. Public Works is getting ready to participate in the Regional Backhoe Rodeo competition with the American Public Works Association. They were tested on their skills in an agility course. The regional competition is next week. We got a special delivery at Unity Park, a sign of great things to come. May 19th can't come soon enough. I'm Lauren Thomas for the city of Greenville.